emotional right now. Um, I'm more emotional than I was last year because this piece was really personal for me. It was a labor of love. Last year was one of the highest moments I had in my life. Uh, I was nominated 40 Under 40, the Mandy Awards. But then in October, my brother took his life. And so to be um, at such a high state of, of excitement and then this high state of just grief was a lot. But what I recognized in that was that I had to let that brick go. So Man in the Mirror became real personal for me because I'm a leader. And when it's good, I'm gonna lead happy and good. But also when it's not so good, there are people who depend on me. And so Michael Jackson's song, I, If I Wanna Make the World, I kept every day I would tell myself when I was in grief, if I wanna make this world a better place, I gotta take a look at myself and I gotta make that change. So it was through the arts, I wrote a piece called Say Something, and it was about from the time we got the phone call to the very end. And so for me, the arts is healing. The, heart, the arts are revealing. The arts give voice to things that are so difficult. So for tonight, there was a point when Sherry came to get me and I was on my knees, I cried because I was just overwhelmed with emotion because I know what the kids, what it took to get the kids here with the partnerships and with the mishaps, with the uh, hiccups, but we still forged through it because it was an important message for the community and for ourselves. So tonight we really plead, it was about the adults really getting that the kids don't fail us, we fail them. And we've got to stop, we've got to put our bricks down because we are a block for them being their greatest self. And so it was a year. I had this ideal came a year, man in the mirror, man in the mirror. I was at the hair shop. It's kind of funny. <laughs> when the when this song, I was like, man in the mirror, that's in 1988. I was eight years old, but it's still so very relevant and so very, um, it's so very real to what's going on in the community right now. And Milwaukee, can Milwaukee change? It can. It's going to take African American, African Americans, it's going to take Caucasians, it's going to take Hispanics, it's going to take young, and it's going to take old. So this was the first time that we, we were very intentional about making it intergenerational because we needed the community to see how effective the village can be. So again, I'm full of so many emotions. I want to cry, I want to laugh, I want to smile. I just, it's, it's, it's humbling. I'm so very grateful. I'm only one person, but there, with a team of individuals that make, my team is absolutely, I'm so, in, I'm in gratitude to the Boys and Girls Club for trusting me with this department, but I'm, I'm in gratitude to the parents who trusted us with their kids, to the partners who said yes. We will do this. This sounds crazy, but okay, yes, Lakita, we will do this with you. Who the, the police department came out and they don't dance or sing and they were like, yes, we will do this with you because people are tired, they're exhausted. And, and I wanted tonight for people to have hope. There is hope. And without hope, why are we living every day? So we've, we've got to have hope in arts. Ever since Shakespeare, arts has been the platform that brought about change. And so tonight, that's what it was. We went back to storytelling, um, to music, to song. It's been happening since Greek, just Lysistrata. It's, it's just been happening for such a long time. And the arts, that's the platform for us to, in a safe way deal with what's going on. So again, I'm, I'm emotional, I'm grateful. Like, I'm, in a, I'm, I'm so grateful. So all the partners we had tonight, before I came to the Boys and Girls Club, I worked for First Stage Children's Theater. They were a part of the show. Milwaukee High School of the Arts. This is where magic happens. Creativity happens every day. We had, we've been at the Oriental. We've been at the Milwaukee Art Museum, but it was intentional to be in the neighborhood to be in the school where creativity happens. Every, everything you saw tonight was intentional. And I'm just, again, grateful that people entrusted me and they had faith with the vision, but my vision wouldn't have manifested without my team. Uh, I love basketball and I love the Chicago Bulls when you had Jordan Pippen and you had uh, Rodman. That's the team I had. I had where well, you got a six feet ring, the NBA ring. That's what happened tonight. All of my team, we went six years in a row and it's because of my team and team is everything to me. So. Thank you.